Welcome to Rust at Work, the series where we show you something in under five minutes that you can use in the Rust programming language. What's up guys, today we're going to be going over extension methods in Rust. For those of you who aren't familiar with what extension methods are, extension methods enable us to extend an existing type without having to modify the original type. This is super useful, for example, if you wanted to extend a standard library type, say for example the vector class, or any, any other type that might be already implemented in Rust. So let's have a look at how we might do that. So the first thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to choose a thing that we're going to extend. In this video, we're going to be extending the vet class as I can concisely show you how extension methods work. So in order to create an extension method, we first have to create a trait for that. The reason we have to create a trait for it is that we're going to be implementing the trait for the already existing type. I don't know if this is a hack around, but it sure works really nicely. So let's do that. So first thing I'm going to do is create a trait. So we're going to say trait, and we're going to call this one ext methods. And we're going to give this a type of T. Then what we're going to do is we are going to put a uh, our extension method in here. So we're going to define that by saying fn. And in our case, we're going to be creating a sum method. And we're going to be implementing that uh, for the vec method. In fact, we're going to be implementing that for a few different types. But I'll show you how that works in just a second. So we're going to say fn sum of all. And just a prep, just a... Um, like a little heads up here, I know that the standard library is currently implementing these sorts of things in beta, but just this is how I'm going to show you guys how extension methods actually work. So we're going to say fn sum of all, and the signature that it's going to take in the in the methods, sorry, in the method parameters is self. We're not going to take anything else as we want access to the underlying container of the already existing type. And it is going to return back the type of T, since we don't actually know what the type is that we'll be implementing inside of the trait already. Um, next thing we're going to do is we are going to say impl trait, and we're going to be saying the we're going to be implementing our x methods for the type vec. And what we need to do here is we need to define the type that we we're implementing for. So as you know that the signature, uh, the generic signature of vec is T. If you haven't watched my vector tutorial series, you should watch that now. But if you already have, then you'll know that the uh, type that it takes is T. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be saying I32 because I'm just going to be working with 32-bit integers here. And the same thing we need to do on the right-hand side for the uh, template here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to implement the actual methods. We're going to say sum of underscore all. And it's going to take the same uh, method signature and it's going to say self. And then it's going to return a type of I32 and when we give it a body here. So just to show you that this actually works, although it's not going to compile properly because not all code paths return a value. But what we're going to do here is we're going to say let x, uh, sorry, let mute x. Um, and we're going to give it a type of vec I32 is equal to vec new. And then what we're going to say is x dot push, and we'll say three, and we'll say x dot push four, and then we'll say is x dot sum. Actually, no, we'll do print line, and then we'll say x a dot sum underscore of underscore all. And let's go ahead and save that. And what we'll do is we will open this up in a terminal and we'll go ahead. And actually, no, I've got a terminal open here already. Uh, thanks for whoever mentioned that in the comments below. Um, I'm going to start using the terminal built into VS Code from now on. So we'll say uh, CD extension methods and then we'll say cargo build. And as you can see here, not all code paths return a value. So let's go ahead and actually implement our sum of all. So uh, we'll say let mute x is equal actually we'll say let mute counter is equal to zero and then what we'll say is for x in so we'll say for x in self and then what we'll say is um counter plus equals x. Sorry, I've just made a mistake here. This has to be a reference to that. There we go. All right, cool. And then once we finish counting that, we'll simply return counter. There we go. All right, cool. So then what we're going to do is we're going to reset this. 
and we will say cargo run. I'm sorry, I made a quite, I made a little bit of a mistake there. Um, we actually don't need to say uh, ampersand self or ampersand x um, since we don't need a reference. This will already provide it to us. So all we say is 4x in self counter plus equals x and then we just return the counter. Now, um, what we're going to do here is we'll say cargo run and as you can see, 3 plus 4 equals 7 and our output here is 7. And that's literally all that there is to extension methods, guys. You can do that for everyone. Um, let's just go ahead and implement it again for another type. So um, we'll say impl trade. Alright, so what I've gone ahead and done off screen here is I've just quickly implemented F32. So I just want to show you what happens if you don't implement. So let's go ahead and cargo run this. And as you can see, we get the sum of 3.4 and 4.5. But what happens if we try and use this method for a type that doesn't have an implementation of our trait? So let's just say, for example, I64. And we'll go ahead and cargo run this. And as you can see, no method name, sum of all found for type uh, vec i64 in the current scope and that's because we haven't actually implemented an extension method for uh, that type with our trait that's all that there is to this guys i hope you enjoyed stay tuned for the next episode of rust at work um, where i will be showing you i don't know whatever comes to my mind on the day uh, new normal series of this rust tutorial series will be coming out soon so stay tuned for that um subscribe like comment share all that good stuff it really helps me out uh thank you for everyone who's currently subscribed my subscribers is just going up and up and up it's just crazy but anyway that's all i have for you guys and i will see you soon thanks